Hello and welcome back. In this class, we are going to learn how to insert a video or an audio within the LibreOffice PowerPoint or Impress presentation. So to start with, let me add a simple slide. This is the same slide that we are still working on. So let me add a single slide by right clicking over here and say a uh, new slide over here. All right. So let's click out now to add a video or, or an audio. You can always come over here at the top uh, center over here. You can see um, insert an audio here. This is insert audio or video. This is a media insertion tab. Now we'll click on this and then we can navigate to wherever we have our video within our system. So let's say I have this, I have this MP4, uh, this one that I want to insert. So you can see this is an MP4, 5.5 uh, megabyte in size and so on. So once I click open, it's going to be inserted into the slide. Okay. So let me zoom out so that I can resize it a little bit. To be able to see it clearly all right so i can click and come to the edge over here and i can resize it so it becomes a bit uh visible all right i can drag and move it as well so it just simply fits the slide okay so this is a video now once you select it you can come over to the properties panel over here and you'll have all the properties you will need for this particular video this is the media playback properties okay so over here you can see the playback options you can play right and you can pause you can stop uh, and so on and if you want to put it on loop also you can put it on loop so it plays continuously and then down here you can increase the seek you can increase the volume okay this is simply like something like the speed and then down here you can uh, change the position okay position and size this is for the position in x and y once you click you will see that it's going to increase the position in y and then you can use this as well to increase it in x and so on so you can vary the position very easily the width and height also you can play around with it if you're interested all right very easily you can just uh, on your own play around you may decide to keep the ratio if you have this ticked so as any of the section is increasing it will not be one-sided ratio okay so it's going to increase uniformly together with the other with the other sizing okay so it's it's very is useful to tick on this so it maintains the ratio and you not have a lopsided video or something like that now down here we have the arrangement you can bring it to the front you can bring it to bring it forward one more step maybe if you have other media or you have other images or shapes that you want this to play on top you can always change the position or back one more step or uh, send to back you can do all that directly from here and then you can change the alignment down here you can align left right and center and you can align to the top and, and, and so on bottom and so on okay so this is very basic and whenever you are playing your slide when it came to when it gets to the video it will just start playing automatic it's usually the default is usually it plays on click okay so once you are playing uh, this slide from here for example let's say start playing uh, the slide once you reach to that okay start from beginning so once you reach to that video it's just going to start playing All right, so you can see we have that chart. So the next one it is, is the video. So once we hit on it, it is going to start playing directly. So it plays on click. Once you just uh, get to the slide, it will just start playing uh, directly. So if you put it on loop also, it will continue to play on loop. So let's escape this. And I think this concludes this class about adding video or an audio into your slide. If you want to add audio, it's still the same process. You can come over here. And you can go there and just um, select wherever you have the audio and just insert it directly. Assuming I have this audio, you can just select and just import it. And you can see this is an audio. Okay. So you have the same property, the access to the same property. You can see the, the volume, the playback options, as well as the position. You can on your own manually just drag and drop it at a particular position. And it's going to play with the same slide as it is playing when it gets to that slide. Okay, so this concludes this class about adding 
video or audio within your system within your LibreOffice slide impress presentation i hope you enjoyed this video thanks for watching and see you in the next one bye